So what happened between you and Funk Flex? I love Flex. Let me just say that. Oh, All right. yeah, yeah, so. oh we like that. But we like that. We like that. We like that. So what yeah. happened? But 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 you know, he get a little man. I'm a gorilla in uh-huh. this shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And at the end of the day, you know, I set a mark in this game. Flunk, Funk Flex. What got me mad with Flex was that I felt like he was taking his power and mushing it in people's faces. Mm. If you're a little kid, mm. right, and you make a record and you put the record out and it's doing good, let's go on that. Right. Don't get in your radio and say, yo, this is trash over the mm. record. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's show the respect. So, that's what my problem was. But when he said I fell off, like, what happened was we, 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 we had some words. I offered him, to, you know, something had happened. And then I got on the net and said, yo, let's battle. Let's battle for 100000 Let's battle for the name. You lose. You can't use your name wait, wait, no more. say this again. You, so you was on, would you say this? So you was and on. You did some tagging shit. You can't use your name no more. Yeah, you can't That's use some your name if you shit. lose. I can't use my name if I lose. Wait, wait, wait. I, 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 just, damn, I felt like I, I skipped over mad shit. So wait a minute. <laughs> um... Y'all talking, and then you said, let's battle for 100 grand, but how did this... No, what happened was, somebody had called me and said, yo, kid, Flex is uh, shit doing you on the net, right? On the radio? I, on, no, on, on, on the net. Yeah, I put the, a post up on the net, right? Okay. I was like, what are you talking about? So I went to go look at it. I was like, it said, it was a picture of him, Red Alert, and uh, Chuck Chill Out. Uh-huh. And it said, under the caption, uh... Uh, people, people try to people try to rewrite history, but I was there. I'm like, what does that got to do with me? I know what my history is. Like, he ain't talking about me, so I called this person back, and the person was like, nah, nah. I was like, I was like, nah, he ain't talking about me. He was like, yeah, he is talking about. You. So anyway, I called Flex, right? And I said to Flex, Flex, who are you talk about? And instead of Flex saying to me, yo, kid, it was you, or it was this person, or it was anybody else, he got. Crazy with me on the phone. He said some crazy shit on the phone, like, yo, don't, don't, if you don't like the way I do things, don't talk to me. Don't be asking me who I did this with and who that. He got crazy with me on the phone. Right? I was like, oh, yo, Flex, it's me. Yo, what are you talking about? Like, I'm thinking he may be in the room with maybe some people in the Hot 97. He's trying to like show them that he could talk to me like that some kind of way. I don't know. Right. But that's what he did. Right. And the next thing you know, uh, he said he had text the, uh, the text messages that we had. Talk to each other on the net, which uh, I was like, "Come on, yo!" You know right. that. Yeah, it's crazy. But then he said, "I fell off." So when he said that, it was like, "Okay, now we got to." That was go time. So that's when that's when the problem became. When he said, "I fell off," like I fell yeah. off. Why? Because I'm not getting on everybody's nerves on the radio station every day on, in New York. Right. Right. I'm all over the all over the country shaking shit up. Like right. you don't see me every day in New York. Right. I fell off. What are you talking about? And I kept a DJ when I put my message out. Let's keep it on some DJ shit. Right. He got personal. So when he did that, that's when it got crazy. And what do you mean when you said he got personal? Because he said I fell off. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Like, why would you say that? That's not the right. truth. Like, why would you even put that out there? But I why said would you think that was personal? Why you even think that, that he was because saying you tell that to people, antagonize you? Because if you say that... Because everyone know you ain't for... Yeah, for, I know that. But, if, but but still, if you say that to people that don't know oh, about Kick and Pre, they'll yeah. look at it in a negative way. Right, right, right. I didn't say anything negative. Right. I, can't, I didn't say nothing about your girl. Your job. I didn't uh, say nothing about your friends. I said uh, something to you. Let's uh, battle in front of Summer Jam. Let's go uh, battle for the day, battle for 100,000. So essentially, y'all would be the first verses. That would be it. Uh, and I left it there, but he uh, went somewhere else with it. Right. So, with that being said, it, it went where it went. But at the end of the day, the whole time, if he would have called me and said, Yo, kid, I need you in the middle of everything we were going through, uh, if he would have called me and said, Yo, kid, I need you for anything, I'd have been right there. Right. No matter what. It wasn't nothing personal. It was some DJ shit. It was some and it was good for hip hop. Right. It was good for hip hop. It was dope. It lit up shit. Right. He caught a lot of pressure. Right. Because I'm not somebody that you do suck a shit to. Right. I'm not somebody that you shit on. I'm the nigga, I'm the one that opened the door for DJs to do what they doing now. I'm the one that brought the money and the fly shit to the DJ business. I'm the one that showed you how to have style and beast and, and, and know your worth. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not the one you do that with. Promoters hire me all over the country. Fans come see me and sell out everywhere I go. Right. There's a reason for that because I, I'm, it's not just the talent. I know how to treat people. I don't. Mm-hmm. I don't shit on people. There's nothing out there that says kick appreciated on people. Did bad business. But well, what made you say you you wanted to battle for 100 grand? Because he said something first. 
because he went on and said I fell off. So when he said, okay. no, 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 I'm sorry. Okay. What made me say that was because he got smart with me on the phone. Okay. Instead of him saying, yo, kid, I wasn't talking about you. Oh, yeah, I was talking about you. Okay. Okay. But he said, yo, don't be asking what's going on on my phone, on my timeline. Don't be, you know. And if I, if I act a certain way, don't, don't call my phone no more. He's talking to me like he's son to me. Like, I ain't the one you talk to like that. All right, all right. So when he said that, that's when I put up with the post. So, dog, we cool, but yo, let's do it for 100000 right. Let's do it for the name. As a matter of fact, let's just do it for the culture. We should have did it at Summer Jam. Right. And that was that. Right. He went and got disrespectful and said some other things, and then it went further. So that's how that went. But, but I'm going to say this. Funk Master Flex is a legend. You can't deny what he did with Hot 97. He made that, that station be the number one hip-hop station in the world. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So you can't take that from him. Let's make sure we don't forget that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Let's not get caught up in all the other Mlocky and, and forget that. He did do that. You know what I'm saying? So shout to Funk Flex. Got love for him. Right. That right there with some hip-hop shit is nothing personal. Okay. He's one of the greatest ever did it. Okay, bet. That's what's up. Bigger yeah. Funk Flex. That's what I'm talking about. Now, something I was a little thrown off from uh, watching the verses mm -hmm. was um, uh, you and Scratch. Yeah. Back and forth. Mm -hmm. uh, I get that, you know, Chris, I'm going to never call him Chris, KRS One and Kane was going to talk that shit. We knew that part, right? Mm -hmm. we, we knew that these are the two biggest, you know, uh, hip hop guys. Battling each other head to head. They're icons, both icons. Of them. But then you and Scratch are also icons. Mm -hmm. And at one point, like he has this routine where he's like, he, he, he's, he's, you know, Some of us, he has in Scratch. It's Scratch, yes. Right. I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize if I didn't make that clear. He's, he's turning it back, and then he goes, you know, suck a, you know, a DJ, kick him free. <laughs> and I, yeah, yeah, you wanna, you wanna respond already? Like, all right. Let's start here. Kane called me and asked me to do verses. I told Kane no. Right. Right? Okay. Because I didn't want to be in a battle situation. I told Kane, I said, I will do it for both of you, you and Chris together. It never been done on, on verses before, so I'll do it for both of y'all. Like DJ for been, both of them? Oh, for both of them. But when he called you, he's asking you to DJ for him. For him. Okay. Right. Kane. I didn't yeah. want to be in a battle situation. Plus, me and KRS has a, as much as a, uh, Kane do We have a big history With each other So I, but I still didn't Want to be in a battle situation Like I told you earlier I've been asked four times To be on Versus Turned it down So I didn't want to be In that type of situation So when Kane uh, Asked me I told him no Then Chris called me Maybe like an hour later And said Y'all want you to do Versus with me I told him though And I told him the reason Why I told him though Then he called me back An hour later And he said Yo, Kane has Scratch. He was like, yo, we should do it. It's monumental. You know what I'm saying? I was like, you know what? It's you and Kane. Cool. Get your cup. Let's do it. Yeah. Right? It's, it's bigger than me. It ain't got nothing to do with me. It's about y'all. I want to see y'all get your flowers mm -hmm. and everything like that. So I left it like that and I said, okay, but I got to call Kane, Kane back to let him know because I told him no. And I don't want him to feel no kind of way. So I called Kane back. Told him I'm gonna do it like Chris wanted me to do it. He was like, yo, please go do it with Chris. I want it to be monumental. Da 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 da. Went to that. I was like, you sure? He's like, yep, cool. Then he called me back. He said, what's going on with you with Scratch? Now, me and Scratch, big, cool. Wait, Kane's calling you back after you tell him no. I mean, that you're doing it with Karis One, and he's asking what's wrong with y'all? Like he knew something was. Right, happening. because... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, right. okay. hold on. Let me, don't know so this, story. this is already this bubbling. Is, this is let, already, me, let me go in, let me go in. <laughs> all right, cool. Me and Scratch been cool for a long time. We call each other all the time and all that. Like, if any show I do, I put them on stage with me. When other dudes are scared to put them on stage, I put them on stage with me, do a little routine, DJ together, all that. He started Scratch Vision. I would come to Scratch Vision, help him with Scratch Vision. Did, like, four shows when he came to Brooklyn. Rocked it out. He asked me to do 52 beats. I did 263 beats for him. All that. Right, and soon as I started playing music on the net, I seen a change. One day he called me and was like, "Yo, you playing music on the net on that shit that cut off every hour?" I'm like, "And?" Then he called me another time, and he said something else that was like, mm. "So I, I let it fly." But then when it got crazy, it was when he started putting stuff on the net. He started putting stuff up there. I, I remember one time I had said, "Um." Uh, 
I had uh, put all the foreign needles out first on the on the on the television. He put up in there, you was not the first to do all the foreign needles. I'm like, yeah, Yo, you could have called me and said that. If I didn't know that I was the first, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. Like, I, th- I, I never seen nobody put them up before me. But if, right. I, if I wasn't, you could have called my phone. We just got right. the phone with each other. You could have called me and told me that. Right. But he didn't do that. He, he did that. Then the second day was the cash app day that happened in the quarantine. He went and commented on that. Then it was something else. And it was, you know, it was something to, to where me and him would just didn't see eye to eye and I just wasn't fucking with Scratch for whatever. And then we came to the battle, to the uh, versus thing. And when the versus thing came up, he took it upon himself to try to take the shine off of me to put on him, which that wasn't a good idea. Because first of all, I came there with good intent. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, it's not about me. It's about Kane and Chris. It wasn't about me. So when he did what he did, he made it about him. I got sucker free clothing line, right? I came up there with a Gucci shirt. It was so much not about me that I wore a Gucci shirt. I didn't wear something that I could have wore to the world for everybody to see. Right, right, right. You see what I'm saying? So I don't really like talking about this because I don't like blowing nobody up, but he did, he put it out there first. He did it first. So uh, for him to do that, it was like, I'm not somebody you do that for. Listen, let's, let's, watch this. You can take my career and take my talent and take all my abilities, put it to the left. There's nothing out there that says Kick and Pre shit at all people. There's nothing out there that says Kick and Pre did bad business with people. There's nothing out there that says Kick and Pre wrong people. So right there, you lose. I'm not the person you do that to. Whatever your intentions were, whatever you feel like you needed to do, I'm not the one you do that to. Whatever your thoughts were, they calling me world's greatest DJ. They give me the attention I get. I do as many shows as I do. Whatever that is, that's something that God has placed in my life. That's not, that's not nothing that somebody else can mm-hmm. take away or beat because you get in front of a camera and feel like you're going to shit on me and this is your opportunity. Right. So right there you lose. Because of those facts, because I have no smut on my name, you can't win. And right. then I'm the shit on top of that. Right. Right. You know when I get on that stage, my pressure's gonna be different. I don't give a fuck if you got sparks flying off your turntables. I don't give a fuck what you do on stage. Kid Capri hits that stage, it's gonna be an event. And that's worldwide. That's wherever I go. And that's the truth. And that's God given. That's not me bragging. That's what it's been for years. There's no downtime. So I didn't understand why he took that opportunity to do that on that platform. Because it didn't work. 